the games, baby. It's all about the games. <laughs> it's all about the games. Yeah, John Lennon, all about games. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we ain't trying to do no geometry here. This is about the <laughs> games, baby. All right. So I did want to highlight some of the games I'm excited about, just uh, and also see if you guys are excited about them. For instance, well, it's the year of Skull and Bones. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, is it gonna happen is, it? is, is this is, is this the year yeah, skull sure. and bones you think it's gonna happen at last it's been like 10 yeah, years it's, it's also the year of the linux desktop john okay i don't know <laughs> no but uh you know some big ones obviously this month like a dragon infinite wealth man i'm excited for that uh there's black myth wukong remember that one of the first things that we ever saw revealed uh what for new February, consoles March game when is that i don't March? know when that's coming out but okay. it's supposed to finally be 2024 it looks like august uh oh, okay. okay so i'm Maybe very curious thought. to see how that actually turns out uh capcom has dragon's dogma 2 which looks pretty mm -hmm. sick that looks good uh final fantasy 7 rebirth i'm pretty stoked for uh curious to see how that goes and it's also ps5 only i think so hopefully mm -hmm. it leaves behind some of the issues, some of the things we've seen in the past with uh, the original remake, like the door. Although it would be funny if the low-res texture door made a Do guest appearance in this new game, <laughs> just somewhere. Like maybe you find it in like a garbage dump or something. A news broadcast, I don't yeah, know. Just something put like it that. somewhere. Uh, oh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. 2, yeah, it's September. I hope that's good, but it looks mm -hmm. it looks conceptually awesome. So I'm excited for that. Mm -hmm. uh, Penny's Big Breakaway from Evening Star, I'm like super stoked for. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can do something special for that too. That's the Sonic Mania developers. Yes. Their first yeah. uh, original IP. So that could potentially be amazing. And on the indie side also, the Plucky Squire. Remember that? Yeah, I do actually. That, mm -hmm. that looked stunning. That's actually finally set for 2024 kind of release and sega stuff as well like i think like the new shinobi crazy taxi uh streets of rage jet set? hopefully jet set radio they haven't i i mean i th i'm hoping that they're 2024 don't know for sure but uh i think they might be so we'll see that mm. then there's stuff like star wars outlaws yeah anyone that's late year right late year apparently Quite well, too. initially it was Disney. Uh, Disney said it's late 2024, but they've since gone back and just put 2024. But I suspect it probably is. Oh, I mean, late it feels like a it's holiday a, game. A holiday yeah. game. People love Star Wars for the holidays. That, but that's another mm -hmm. uh, massive game, I believe, right? Yeah. And so it should uh, be good. they did an excellent job with Avatar. I feel uh, mm -hmm. perhaps more than anybody expected, right? Yeah. I think we can largely agree that. Avatar turned out to be a pretty darn good game and probably the best open world thing that Ubisoft's released in like a decade. <laughs> it is interesting, at least, in terms of exploration. It's sure. very interesting in that aspect. That is true. I, I, I think it's also cool that Ubisoft has that new Prince of Persia game, which I mentioned. You know, it's a side-scrolling yes. sort of... Yeah. I'm curious to check that out. Uh, Hellblade 2 is another one that I'm very excited to finally see because that was the first X new generation Xbox game announced, I believe. Yeah. Before the console was even a thing, perhaps? Or? Yeah, that, that was quite interesting going back and looking at that reveal because um, there wasn't really anything known about Unreal Engine 5 at that point. No. Nope. And I don't and, think the and, developers and, really knew about it. And, and yet it, it okay. manifested like an Unreal Engine 5 game would look <laughs> before <laughs> it transitions to Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I do expect it to be an absolute technical showpiece, though, based on what they've what what it seems like they're doing and yeah i, I do have some excitement for that it could, it could be a very good looking game which is cool uh of course i'm just looking at my list here of different I, things anything you got comes to your mind if you mentioned final oh, fantasy I was, yeah i did yeah yeah <clears throat> i'm curious about tempest rising that's also this year oh dude um, yeah i played the demo that's, of that uh, that's sick, Command dude. and Conquer esque, uh, yeah, very yeah, much yeah. so styled after Command and Conquer UE five RTS, uh, made by 3D Realms, who are now going through a tough time, uh, really tough time. They've been GG. embraced. They've been embraced, and uh, they're just, just oh my god, they're shedding people like crazy. Yeah, it's, I it's hope awful. these games are okay. I hope the games are okay. I hope the people land in uh, yes, better yes, jobs, that's actually, more yeah, secure that's jobs. That's more important, actually. Is that I hope the people um, are okay. Yeah. Uh, but that that game, the, the, the demos were very promising. Uh, the, the tone and the visuals are awesome. 
yep, there, there's yep. a number of actually indie RTS games that are going to be that are looking to target this year. I think there's another one called. Oh gosh, I forget the name of it. Maybe it's called Dorf. It's got like a weird German name, but it's got like this crazy art aesthetic. It looks, it's very much so like the, like the voxel terrain era of CNC, uh, but with like the 2D uh, fake shadowy look to all like the the, the units. It's right. incredible looking. Uh, I forget the name of that off the top of my head. I think it's Dorf. But Dorf. either way, um, that one, that one also has my eye. There's, Indie RTS has just kind of exploded over the last couple of years because I think there is a lack of them in the market. And people who also just want to play single player games. Uh, RTS for a while went away from single player yeah, due did. to the intense esports StarCraft. Everyone yep, needs yep, to be yep. StarCraft. Uh, everyone it, needs to be a MOBA. To be fair, though, StarCraft 2 <laughs> did have a really good single player mode that like that is one of the awesome. shining beacons of that game like it is it's, it's incredible awesome. that they managed to have like all those um great single player campaign stuff in and it's still a really good looking game if you go back and play it starcraft is, is. 2 these days you attractive. would be shocked how good it is it's only the issues it's dx9 also the uh one. the command and conquer remastered thing that you covered i played through that yeah. on pc and man that's freaking awesome! What a love letter. <laughs> That's to awesome. The original we haven't Commander we Cogger. haven't seen anything from them in a while. I think Petroglyph's working on something else right now. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what they're up to. But also, you've got all the the Age of Empires expansions that are coming out this right. year. I think um, I think they're going to be also doing a big expansion to AOE four. Um, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I mean. Uh, there's a lot going. Another be game that's kind of I'm cautious about, but I hope it turns out for them is Stalker Two. Oh yeah, of right. course. Yeah. So obviously, mm-hmm. those guys have been through some some, shit, and uh, it seems like they're finally going to reach the finish line this year. So, and I hope yeah. it, I hope it turns out good because the demo we played at Gamescom, it was very rough, right? You remember, Rich? We played that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and yeah. You could see the potential there, but it was also it felt like this like super pre-alpha, like incomplete kind of thing, which it was. Uh, so. <laughs> it was a, it was it was a triumph. It was there, but it also demonstrated yeah. um, how much work still needed to be done. And I st- think at, right now they're still sort of trying to target the sort of Q one or early yeah, Q two. Yeah, we'll see. That'd be nuts which, if they hit that. I don't know. I think the yeah. main thing with that demo that was missing was just sort of the uh, the facial and the dialogue sort of animation, uh, which is something right. that's been very prevalent in the trailers. But when in the actual demo that was playable, everybody was extremely stiff and it felt like placeholder stuff, which it very well could have been. So my feeling is that the trailers, what they've shown is what they've been targeting. And I hope that they can reach that goal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a couple of other titles. I'm not sure if they're 2024 or not. I'm not sure if they've even had release dates announced, but <laughs> um, uh, Light No Fire from Hello Games. I'm curious as to oh, yeah. what's happening right. there. I keep seeing advertisements for it on YouTube, so it's oh, got to be a oh. 2024 game, right? Yeah. yeah. You'd, you'd, th- you'd think so, and um, No Rest for the Wicked from yes. Moon Studios. Yes. It's com- it apparently is coming in 2024, which I'm Like early 2024, sure. like March, really? maybe? I oh, think wow. it's, it's coming. Excellent. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I don't yeah. know for sure, but I think like I think it's targeting the first half of the year, and that that looks freaking. That trailer was stunning at the Game Awards. I thought, yeah. really really mm-hmm. well done. Yeah, and um, the, that's coming on PlayStation as well. So it's you know not an OE situation where it's sort of just Xbox and actually yeah, did come to a Switch. Private Division is the publisher, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. interesting stuff. Yeah, any more um, for any more on twenty twenty four. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, if you remember, was supposed to have been a launch game for this new generation of consoles. Uh, And the gameplay they showed prior to that, I thought, looked excellent. Like, very much the kind of Imsim experience you would have wanted from a sequel to that original. Uh, It seemed very faithful, but then, for whatever reason, it feels like it was cancelled and stripped away and maybe sent off somewhere else. So I have no idea i need to refresh myself on what happened there but it feels like they've essentially restarted and built something else and i hope they actually don't stray too far from what they were doing and turn it into something that you know fans of the original may not enjoy but we'll see we'll see i'm i'm right. interested to give it a shot that's for okay. sure Mm-hmm. And then obviously, you know, as I mentioned earlier, I know Alex is totally excited for Suicide Squad for Justice League. <laughs> that is, Justice that a, League. Is, that a, is that a video where we do like a uh, cross-platform play? I feel like we should do we should that. Probably I, do that. We absolutely should we do that. We probably should do that. Uh, also, um, two more to mention um, there. 
So one of them obviously coming very soon is Tekken 8, which is yes. mm-hmm. shaping up very well. And then there's also Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which mm-hmm. is a cool looking action R- RPG. I actually saw this at E3 like, like five years ago. Uh, when it was being developed by Platinum Games, and since then, Platinum was dropped off, and it was retooled dramatically, and it actually looks pretty interesting, and I'm curious to try that, and that comes out February 1st, so that's another one that may be covered soon, and that's, I mean, we could go on and on, but we should probably stop here. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of stuff coming, and probably a lot of things that haven't been announced yet, so. Okay. Oh, true. RZ, the Jewel of Faramore. Okay. I wonder who... I wonder who's in that game gee i don't know that's yes that's the game that i was uh involved with helping on uh the design with uh my good friend seth uh coming mm. out in february the game how is, can you guys forget about done. plumbers oh plumbers pl- don't wear ties Dude, that's a march 2024 edition. release right right and i'm even one of the trophies yeah and i think rich is <laughs> Maybe, maybe involved. I think Richard is somehow in some somewhere. There's a reference somewhere. Maybe that's maybe. Yeah, that's silly. I think basically uh, an offhand <laughs> comment I might have made at Gamescom has been turned into some sort of uh, packaging Boat. endorsement. We'll see. I hope so. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, uh, that uh, but yes, best. That, hey, uh, that stupid thing, man. I what they've done with it is absolutely nuts, and I'm very curious. I'm very curious to to see the final thing come out but yeah mm.